Today, I'm at Manhattan Motor Cars in New York City to check out a 2019 Bugatti Chiron Sport that's for sale for $3,450,000. So, let's go check it out. Lightweight and tuned to handle, the Chiron Sport originally started at $3.2 million, but now this one is for sale for $3,450,000. This car differs from the standard Chiron in weight and handling. It has a firmer chassis setting, all new dynamic torque vectoring function, and a sport-focused suspension setup. The Chiron Sport is 40 pounds lighter than the standard Chiron. This was done with lighter wheels, glass, and more carbon fiber components. Bugatti seems to be most proud of the car's carbon fiber windshield wipers, which Bugatti claims is a first for production cars. They actually weigh 77% less than the standard ones, and they also use 3D printed aluminum in the tips. The carbon fiber windshield wipers are definitely one of the coolest features about this car, and I'd love to know how many of you guys knew that this car had carbon fiber windshield wipers. In addition to the carbon fiber windshield wipers, Bugatti saved weight by putting carbon fiber in the stabilizer and the intercooler cover. And even the rear window has lighter glass than the regular Chiron. The Chiron Sport also has a new quad tailpipe exhaust system. This ultra expensive hypercar is powered by an 8 liter quad turbocharged W16 engine that puts out 1,479 horsepower, which is the same power amount as the regular Chiron and 1,180 pound-feet of torque. If the power amount didn't impress you, maybe this will. It has a top speed of 261 miles per hour. I can't even imagine going that fast in a vehicle. And what's also impressive is that it can sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 2.3 seconds. Between the weight savings and new suspension, Bugatti claims the Chiron Sport lapped the Nardo handling track 5 seconds faster than the standard model. Not only is the quad tailpipe exhaust setup exclusive to the Chiron Sport, but so are these wheels, which are painted in gloss black, with the EB branding in the center in red, with red brake calipers, of course. I can't get over how gorgeous this spec is. Just look at this exposed carbon fiber. It's just so stunning. You really have to just step back and take a good look at this car. It almost looks black, like black paint from far away, but once you get closer, you can see the beauty of the exposed carbon fiber. With the Chiron Sport, customers get more color options, including the duo tone with a visible gray carbon fiber paired with red, which we see here. You can also get it paired with blue, silver, and dark gray paint. And for the Sport, Bugatti finishes the aluminum alloy C-shape trim line in the same color as the body paint. So that's why you see this C here in red which goes perfectly with the other red accents. At the front you've got the iconic Bugatti horseshoe grille and you've got these large air intakes on either side of it. You even have air intakes next to the headlights which are pretty cool. You can never have too much air cooling down that big W16 engine in the back. Unlike some of the Bugattis we've seen in the past at Bugatti Manhattan, this Chiron Sport does not have sky view, which would have given you the two glass panels to let natural light flood the cabin. Instead, it has a fully exposed carbon fiber roof. Just like on the standard Chiron, you've got an automatically adjustable wing, which is currently up. The electrohydraulic wing system, it's quite a bit of weight to this car. That's why Bugatti got rid of this entire system on the Chiron Per Sport and instead gave that car a fixed wing. At the back you've got a red EB logo as well as red engine covers. It says W16 EB on the left and 1500 EB on the right. And you've got this cool looking fin that starts on the roof and comes all the way down here. When specking their cars, customers had the option of getting 16 written in the grill mesh. Obviously, this car does not have that. But if you do see a Chiron with 16 in the front grill, that denotes the number of cylinders. So now let's take a look at the interior. Don't worry, that noise is normal. 
So taking a look inside the 2019 Chiron Sport, you'll notice a nice mix of suede and leather. So the entire interior is leather, except for the steering wheel, which is finished in suede. There's carbon fiber everywhere, and you've got these door sills that say sport on them in red. The door panels are finished in satin carbon fiber with red leather, just like these seats. So these seats are actually quite comfortable and supportive and they're carbon fiber backed so you can see the exposed scent carbon fiber right there at the back of the seats and you've got red and black leather on them you've got chiron embroidered on the headrest as well as diamond stitching on the central stack you've got circular controls that typically act as climate controls but they can be programmed to display performance metrics so these controls and the surrounding area are finished in black anodized aluminum to give the interior a sporty look. You also have that black anodized aluminum on the driving mode knob so you can choose between track mode, autobahn mode, and Bugatti mode. And down here you have the optional key to plug in to go for max speed of 261 miles per hour. In the center you've got your launch control button and on the right side of the steering wheel you've got the engine button. Down there you've got Chiron Sport embroidered on the side of the central tunnel. Near the armrest, you've got a plaque that says 110 Ons Bugatti, which means 110 years of the Bugatti brand. You've got a little stowaway bin here for some storage as well as some more storage space there. I can't get over how gorgeous this satin carbon fiber looks. Not only do you have it on the doors, but you also have it on the steering column and near the instrument cluster, as well as in the center here, going up and all the way around the car. More black anodized trim can be found on the door handle as well as surrounding the mirror adjustment knob and even for the lock and unlock buttons. The coolest part about the interior is definitely the illuminated C bar that carries from down here all the way up to the roof liner. This is actually the longest light conductor in the automobile industry. One thing I love with the Chiron in general is that the focus is on the pilot and everything is within reach and perfectly controllable. A fun fact that always blows my mind is that more than 60,000 liters of air per minute are pumped through this engine. The coolant pump is also a very high performance unit. In just one minute, it circulates 800 liters of water through the entire engine. You've got an open rear end for maximum cooling and airflow out of the engine to keep temperatures low, and you've got this iconic full width light bar. At night when this thing is lit up, it looks amazing. So with a sportier look, 10% stiffer shock absorbers, dynamic torque vectoring, a new exhaust system, a weight savings of 40 pounds over the regular Chiron, and a new handling setup that makes it more agile on curvy roads, I'd say the Chiron Sport is pretty impressive. If we're comparing MSRPs, the Chiron Sport MSRP is about $260,000 more than the regular Chiron's MSRP. So I wanna know, do you guys think this car is worth that premium? Personally, I don't think you can go wrong with any Bugatti. I like the Chiron Sport, but I think I would prefer the Chiron Purse Sport more just because I like track-focused cars. But for $3,450,000, this Chiron Sport can be yours. If anyone's interested in this car, come to Manhattan Motor Cars, see Viviana, and tell her I sent you. So that was my visit to Manhattan Motor Cars in New York City. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.